revamp them this year compared to what you guys had of preseason last year? I mean, it existed. <laughs> I mean, for me, honestly, it's just a totally different ball game. Cause, I mean, even last year I was limited during camp, so I really didn't get the full experience of even having camp last year. So this is my first real camp. This is my first real preseason. I mean, I'm just taking it all in, enjoying the opportunity. I get to get better each and every day. Even though you were successful last year, is how beneficial has this felt having this time as opposed to what last year was? Um, what makes you think I was successful last year? Um, it's a good question. You played very well last year. You don't think you were successful? Um, personally, I wouldn't say last year was a success for me. I'm not going to say it was a bad year, but it just wasn't what I wanted. I mean, st statistically, um, just the goals I set out for myself, I feel like I didn't reach more than I reached. I mean, that, I wouldn't consider that successful in my eyes. It was a solid year for sure to build on. But, I mean, this year it's really just about one of the little things that I can do to really check off each and every one of my goals. Jacob, what left you most unsatisfied? Um, I want to say, for one, I would say giving up touchdowns. That wasn't, that's not something I do. Uh, I know it comes with the game, but just for my standard, I try to limit the big plays. Um, and then also, I didn't have any interceptions. So those two were probably my biggest, my biggest things to fix. Eddie and Tayshawn have been in here in recent weeks, and they speak very highly of where they see your career going. What do you hope they, they see in you? What do you think they see in you? Fight, honestly, just the will to just be better. Um, and even talking to them, going through just my mental state that I was in last year compared to this year, it's totally different. And I mean, I feel like that's something that as athletes we have to do and get better at is our mental state as well as our physical being as well as just getting better each and every day, um, an opportunity. And I feel like they can see that and the defense can feel that for me. And I'm going to go out, I'm going to compete, I'm going to fight, I'm going to try to get better. And um, they're going to see the work that I put in in the off season now, getting in extra work. So, I mean, everybody's going to see that for sure. Speaking of mentally, how are you preparing yourself this year knowing that you are that solidified number one corner? That means you're going to be targeted and be basically taking on the best that the league has to offer. Where are you, where are you mentally and how are you preparing for that? I'm not going to lie to you, I prepare for that my whole life. Fighting and going against adversity, going against hard times, going comp competing in everything I do is something that I've done my whole life being where I'm from. So, I mean, it's no different now just going against another human being, competing and playing the game I love. So, I mean, I don't, it's not no pressure I put on myself. It's what I've been doing my whole life on and off the field, just fighting and competing for everything I get. I think it was to Sean Gibson that said that you could be a top five cornerback 100%. in this league. What do you think? about that. Could, could you, is that the goal for you, to be that? I mean, our goal is to be number one, so I mean, that's what I work for. I mean, we all know who's at the top of that list, and we know what it's going to take to get there. So, I mean, it's just taking baby steps, not really looking too far ahead, but just handling what's in front of me right now. I know it's limited, Jalen, but have you noticed an, an uptick in progress in the offense and going against this offense and what they've looked like in camp? Um, for sure. I feel like it starts off kind of with confidence. I feel like they're a lot more confident this year in their abilities and what's going on. Um, they just feel feel better. You can kind of feel it from them, kind of their energy. Um, and even from the defensive standpoint, we want to push them. Because if we are the, one of the best defenses in the league, then we know that they're going to be able to go against other defenses and feel a slight drop off and being able to really dominate and do what they're supposed to do against other defenses. So, I mean, just being able to battle, compete against them, hopefully we give them more confidence and make them better. So when you mentioned your, your mental state being different now versus last year, how so? Um, honestly, for me, it's, I mean, it just even switched. My best friend died a few weeks ago. So just being able to really embrace life and know what life is about, just really trying to get better each and every day and not take anything for granted. Um, and I feel like it's easy to say, but... I mean, for me, my life's kind of changed over the last year, the last two years, just having my daughter, having people that I love um, leave this earth. So, I mean, for me, it's really just about fighting each and every day, just getting better and really being able to enjoy what's here in front of me. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to your best friend? Um, he got shot and killed. Really sorry about your best friend, bro. Yeah. Um, you mentioned who's at the top of that list in terms of, you know, cornerback rankings. First game of the season, you get to share a field with Jalen Ramsey. Do you have an opportunity to just kind of put your name on the list and say, I'm the best corner on this field that day? Right. Um, for sure. I mean, that's the attitude. I feel like that's what sets him apart and has set him apart for many years. Him having that confidence, that swag, um, just that he was the best. And even when he got beat, it was still, I'm the best. You just got me on that play. And he's always going to fight and scratch and claw for 
everything. So, I mean, that's just something that he has instilled kind of in this new generation of DBs is just having that confidence, having that swag, um, and kind of not never getting down on yourself, staying true to who you are and just really going out and competing. So, I mean, that's what I'm going to do for sure. Has this camp been any more challenging for you without Kyle Fuller, just practicing without him, the difference, the void that he leaves? I wouldn't say it was more difficult, no, just because what you kind of learn from Kyle makes this situation, makes what I'm going into this year a lot easier, having him around last year and how he approached the game, how he went about it and not being just about the fluff and just about all the lights and cameras and all that, but he really was a hard worker. He, We all know the film that he watched and how he just led by example and he didn't talk too much, but he was real strategic in everything that he did. Um, so, I mean, just being able to take those traits and those uh, that quality from him is going to help me with throughout my career. Yeah, I got two more. Uh, not having his iPad with them or on, what did you learn from him about watching tape and how to do it, you know, most efficiently? Shit, you do it all day. <laughs> I mean, we would go to dinner and Kyle was watching his iPad. Just the amount of reps, the amount of hours, the amount of time and sacrifice he put into taking away um, a little – a little inch from the from the offense or just finding one thing he can do to try to jump or make a play. Just the countless times that he did that over and over and over just to get that extra inch on uh, his opponent. Kevin, I don't know if you remember this or not, but last week you had two really big interceptions in practice. And it seems like since then, a lot of guys have been getting their hands on balls. Early in Cavs trying to get them but not catching them. Right. You know, been kind of catching them. Do you kind of view that as your responsibility to kind of get the ball rolling on those turnovers and, and set the tone for taking the ball away? A hundred percent. Just being able to lead by example. I mean, we can all say, let's get more turnovers, let's do this, and I'm dropping picks, or I'm not going to go get the ball. So, I mean, just for me, it's just about starting that, just going to get the ball. Because, I mean, once you see one DB getting the ball, then Eddie wants to get the ball, then Kendall wants to get the ball, then the backers get involved, and it just brings more juice, more energy. But that starts with somebody taking action and actually making the play. Thanks, guys. Thank you.